Split is one of the principal tourist destinations in Croatia and is a popular port stop for those on an Adriatic cruise. With its accessible history and picture postcard views, this bustling city has so much to offer visitors, so much that it's hard to pick what to do if you only have one day there. The cruise dock is a 5-10 to 10 minute walk from the city centre, and as you walk you'll see signs for the beach. These take you away from the main route into the city, but it's only a 5 minute walk to the nearest Bakovici beach. It wasn't beach weather when we visited, so here's a photo from the internet that shows you what it can be like. Continuing into Split, you first encountered the Riva Promenade. This is a glorious wide street styled in Napoleonic times. It's filled with bars and restaurants, and it is the social heart of the city. Adjacent to the Riva is a marketplace, which is big enough to while away 30 minutes hunting for bargain souvenirs or tasting local foods. Split is famed for the Diocletian Palace, which is a remarkably intact palace built and occupied by the Roman Emperor Diocletian. This is a vast complex, and it occupied most of what is currently the footprint of the old city area. You can enter the palace via the ruins of the impressive Silver Gate. This is one of several city gates to discover as you wander through this wondrous place. The Peristyle was the palace's central square, where powerful Roman citizens gathered and came to worship the Emperor Diocletian. It is one of the best preserved parts of the palace, and is an open rectangular courtyard decorated with a colonnade. It's also featured in Game of Thrones. And during the summer months at 12 noon, local reenactors put on a display for the visitors. The Emperor and his wife are accompanied by the Praetorian Guard, and they greet and receive the adulation of the crowd. It's quite a sight. And after, the Praetorian Guards march through the city centre itself. It's absolutely fabulous. The adjacent Cathedral of St. Dominus was originally Diocletian's mausoleum. It was built in 305 AD, and Diocletian was interred there after his death in 311 AD. However, Christians in the 5th century destroyed his tomb and converted it into a cathedral that was dedicated to one of the Emperor's victims, who he had had decapitated for being a Christian. It's considered one of the oldest cathedrals in the entire world. You can also climb the bell tower which gives great views across the city, and it's also possible to access the cellars of the palace, which house the remains of the Emperor's baths. The city is great to explore on foot, and it's full of narrow alleys and courtyards. There are museums aplenty, ranging from the expected art and archaeology to the somewhat bizarre. The shops are excellent, and to satisfy your hunger, why not try a barek, a local pastry filled with meat, potatoes, cheese and spinach. It's incredibly tasty. Of course, you can chase it down with an ice cream. Can't avoid putting on a few pounds on this holiday. So it's great to walk off those calories, and progressing through the city, you pass through People's Square and Republic Square, which was modelled on St Mark's Square from Venice. A popular walk to burn off these calories is to climb Marjum Hill, or Holy Hill as it is sometimes referred to. This is actually a large and very accessible nature reserve, and it includes a botanical garden, zoo, and some ancient and historic churches. There are some fantastic walking trails also that take you to some amazing viewpoints. It's a good climb up the hill, but well worth the effort. It's not busy or crowded, and it's easy to find peace in this magnificent place. The size and the extent of the park only reveals itself when you're up there and extends over an entire peninsula and you can easily spend an entire day just exploring this natural wilderness just sat on the doorstep of the main city centre. Split was a real delight and it far exceeded our expectations and it has too much to see in a day and if you have limited time there's a real hard choice to make and select the best option for you. We absolutely loved Marjum Hill, it's a hiker's dream. So that's that then. Another holiday to Croatia added to our ever-increasing list of holiday plans. Thank you, Split. That was the last thing we wanted to do, having discovered what delights you have to offer visitors. And we will be back.